A 39-year-old homeless mother who lost her job and spent three months living out of her truck is desperately trying to get back on her feet. The woman who asked that we not identify her says social service agencies could not help. She's now staying at a hotel and getting help paying her bills from a most unusual source. Craig Wall joins us now with a story of hope, generosity, and friendship. Craig? Yeah, Bob, this is certainly one of those stories about a good Samaritan helping the homeless, a woman and her 10-year-old son. But in this case, there's a twist. The man comes to the rescue isn't driving some fancy car, working out of a loop high rise, making six figures, but he knows how to give in a way that will put most of us to shame. Meet Curtis Jackson on his way to work at 55th and Harlem. Most of them just uh, see me as the person who's walking through here with a sign in my hand and telling them jokes. I love telling jokes. But he loves helping others more. Have the homeless, please. That's right. Jackson is himself homeless, has been since 2004. These days, he's panhandling with a purpose. All I can do is get out there and put a sign in my hand or put a cup in my hand and ask people to help me out, you know, and everything I get except bus fare, maybe something to eat. And give it to her. She is a woman we'll call Sandy, who lost her job at a bank last September and nearly lost her son because she had no adequate place to live. She then found a hotel, and since December, Jackson has paid her bill. Sandy shot this cell phone video on Monday of Jackson with his pile of change at the hotel counter paying for another night's stay. To date, for like maybe four months, he's literally given almost $9,000. That's right, almost $9,000 just doing this. Have the homeless, please. 40 to 70 to 100 cars have passed by me. They want to give me something. Range from anywhere from four pennies to, you know, how generous they are, $20. I've, you know, donated to charities. I've helped other homeless families, you know, never realizing that one day we'd be in this situation. So thank God that we did have an angel waiting for us. They met last year while Sandy was still working and Jackson was panhandling at Central Avenue at the Eisenhower. She would regularly see him and treated him with kindness and dignity. After she became homeless, he became her knight in shining armor. He truly has been an angel for me and my son. She needed help. But you have nothing yourself. I have God. I'm one of the richest men on this, on this earth. I have God. He's a man of faith who, in his words, may be homeless, but he's not hopeless. Money is not my master. See, that's what's wrong with this world. Money is his master. For Sandy, Jackson has become like a brother. I don't ever think I'll be able to repay Curtis for what he has done. But that's never been his motive. I'm out here for a purpose to help someone. And that's, that's all I'm trying to do is help someone that, that needs help right, right at this moment. And once she doesn't need help anymore, then I'll move on to something else. And I believe Sandy is not going to be the last person that Curtis Jackson will help in one way or another. What struck me after meeting him is how many times we look at homeless as less than human when we don't even know their stories. Jackson may be an anomaly among the homeless, but... He is certainly somebody who you want to meet and certainly one of those people that proves you can't always judge a book by its cover. Wow. It struck me watching that, that picture of the, all the change to pay for the hotel room. And the people at the hotel perfectly willing to take it just, yeah. it just in the form that it is. And he's been going there, you know, not to the hotel every day, but he meets her almost every single day mm -hmm. at a spot where he gives her the money that he has earned, keeps money for bus fare to get him to and from, mm -hmm. and food, everything else going to her. And what are her prospects for uh, a future employment? She's, or she's having a hard time right now. She really is. While she was out on a job interview, her truck got repoed on her. So mm -hmm. she is really in, you know, a dire situation. The story's out on the web. Tons of people have been responding via Twitter and everything like that. And some people have been saying, yeah, they want to help. So it's touching people's hearts. All right, great. Thank you. Thanks. Good story.